So like, I'm finna read the list of what Kyrie Irving had to do to come back into the NBA. It say he had to apologize and condemn the film he promoted. So they basically trying to, they, they basically saying, they basically saying this man Kyrie, he gotta apologize and condemn the film. He gotta apologize. He didn't do nothing. He didn't even, and he's, he keep telling them he didn't really watch the film, right? All he did was share the link. But how you gonna condemn something that you didn't watch? And how you gonna make a man condemn something? What if he like? What if he watched the film and liked the film? How are you gonna make this man condemn something that he liked? This how you know it's a strength. That, hey man, they they using this man, right? He don't have no power. Our, our brothers in this industry don't have no power. They can't. They don't have. They can't say what they want to say. They can't repost what they want to repost. Right? They can't do certain things because certain things the so-called white man got his back, got his uh, neck on. And when he try to come out and say something, it's gonna be a punishment, right? So this man gotta apologize. These are the things Kyrie Irving had to do in order to come back and play in the league. It reminds you, they suspended this man for five games. They suspended Kyrie for five games, no pay, just by him sharing a link. He didn't say nothing about the link. He didn't say nothing about the link. All he did was share the link, and he suspended for five games. Not the whole NBA bashing him for sharing the link, right? So he said, apologize and condemn the film you promoted, make a 500,000 donation to the anti-hate causes. So this man gotta spend his money to donate to the hate causes, right? It don't make any sense. It don't make any sense at all. Complete sensitivity training, I don't know what that is. It's gotta be madness. Complete anti-Semitism training. They got this man going through training, bro. They got this man. They, all they finna do is kind of uh, program him. If he go to that, they finna send him into a classroom. They gonna have Jewish men coming up with them yarnikas on their head with the tassels. They gonna bring them in there and they gonna talk to Kyrie about how the real Jews, about the Holocaust. They gonna show him some films. That's what they gonna do. They gonna do that to the brother, man, because. They want to make a, like I said, they want to make a fool out of him. They want to make an example out of him. So no other brother in the NBA would come out and be like, we're the real Jews. Because, hey, you think about it. Any other brother that came out and said that we're the real Jews, they always apologize for it. That's why we pray, we pray and we hoping that Kyrie and Kanye don't, don't apologize. Because all the other brothers done let us down. All the other brothers done got our hopes up. They said that the real Jews. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, they got, they got our hopes up. Okay, okay. They say, you know, boom, they apologize, right? They apologize. So we hoping that brothers don't apologize. It says, this is what else Kyrie gotta do. Meet with the ADL and Jewish leaders. So they got this man linking with ADL uh, and, and Jewish leaders. So they finna basically treat this man like a kid. They make it, in order for him to go, in order for him to come to the, uh, to play in the next game, he gotta go meet with the Jewish leader. He got to. Now this is a grown man, right? He playing in the NBA, and we, everybody know who Kyrie Irving is. Everybody in their mama know who Kyrie Irving is. He not no mini, he not no player that you know just came into the league that was good one year and one year he's not. I mean, Kyrie Irving is known, especially when he's known for his crossovers, right? He known for his crossovers and his finish to the rim. But they treating this man like a little boy. They basically treating this man like a little boy. He gotta, he gotta go meet with the Jewish leader. And Kyrie Irving know that they the fake Jews. He not gonna come out to the media and say, "Oh man, hey, they the fake Jews. We the real Jews." He not gonna come out and say that, but he know because he said that he know who he is. How can he be anti-Semitic when he know where he come from, right? But they finna make him go and talk to a fake Jewish man that took his identity, right? That's destroying his people. That they destroy, yeah, destroying his people that took his people identity that's in his people homeland and he know that they're finna make this man go talk to him, right? And he said, meet with the team owner Joe something to demonstrate an understanding of the situation. Now he finna have to meet with his uh with his team owner. Now his team owner, he he more he a heathen. I don't know if he's Jewish, but he's more likely a heathen and he got to meet with him to demonstrate the understanding of the situation. Now, we know that the owner of the Nets, he he he, he, he wicked too. So he's not going to tell Kyrie Irving nothing positive. He's not going to tell Kyrie Irving, hey, speak your mind. Um, Y'all are the real Jews. 
Oh, the Lord's coming back for y'all. He's not finna tell them that. He's not finna tell him that. He's finna tell him, hey, uh, Kari, uh, I know what you believe in, but just, just go out there and tell them what they want to hear. I know you want to play. We need you. We need you on the team. But you know what you got to do, Kyrie. Just go and just tell them what they want to hear. That's what he's going to tell him. Right? Hey, but the men of the Lord, hey, man, hey, the men of the Lord was hated. When you get into the scripture, you will see how the prophets, the men of the Lord were hated, right? So we know that we're going to be hated of all men. So this is exactly how they're going to treat it. It's going to come a time where they're going to have our face all over, over the news, right? Black Hebrew Israelites uh, or hate group. Black Hebrew Israelites this. Black Hebrew Israelites that, right? They're going to do that to destroy our people, to destroy our name, right? But we got to stand ten toes. And Kyrie Irving and uh, we're looking at Kyrie Irving and we're looking at Kanye right now to see if they're gonna stand ten toes for the Lord. Cause there's no sense of coming out and telling our people that the Jews or sharing a link and letting them know that the Jews without saying it. And there's no point of doing that just to apologize afterwards. You might well not even say nothing if you gonna apologize um uh, apologize afterwards, right? So these are the things that Kyrie Irving gotta do to um to get back into the league and i'm gonna get a verse because this verse so like this, this verse backs up everything uh that, that we saying man the, hey the bible said the earth the classic precept the bible said the earth is given to the hand of the wicked right the bible said the wicked run this earth let me get this real quick uh so like so like I said, let me get this verse real quick. This is this the book of Job. This is the book of Job, chapter nine and verse um twenty four. Let me get it real quick. Right. The Job chapter nine and verse twenty four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the face of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So we know that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man. If you look at the earth, if you look at the earth right now. How everything is ran, you know it's given to the hand of the wicked, man. You can't you can't even nowadays you can't even come out and say we the real Jews without getting your without getting your video taken down. You can't even come out and say that those are the fake Jews in Jerusalem right now without getting your video took down for hate speech. Right? You got chemtrails in the sky, you got fake foods that we eating, we eating damn processed uh 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 meat with steroids in it. You know what I'm saying? We eating all we eating all type of nasty food. Food that's really killing us. These are the things that we eating, right? So then we know that this this earth is give, this earth is given into the hand of the wicked, right? You know because this Jewish man, that so called those Jewish people, that's supposed to be so called God chosen people, right? They rule this place. They rule the music industry. They they own a uh, majority of the football and, and basketball teams. Right, they own the media, they own what you see on TV, what you, because you gotta think about it, man. Uh, a, a lot of people say, watch what you feed your temple, but that's not always food. You gotta watch what you feed your temple, things that you physically watch. And we know that the Jewish man, he he owns the TV, I mean, the, uh, the, uh, the media. He owns what we hear, he owns what we see. So what we seeing on uh, cartoons, now, kids with two moms, kids with two dads, Right, right. interracial marriages, that's all we said. But the Bible is against that, man. The Bible is not with that. The Bible says separate. Let me get that, let me get that precept, man. Let me bring that thing out. The Bible says, hey, separate from your enemy, man. You can't be making marriages with your oppressor. And the Lord said that, but that's all you see now on movies and on cartoons. That's all you see. You can't watch no good show on Netflix without it being a uh, damn uh, uh, homosexual in the show. Think about it. You can't watch no show, a good show on Netflix, or any a good show on Netflix, now a good series. They're gonna just throw a homosexual character in there or an interracial marriage character, interracial marriage in there out of out of, uh, out of nowhere. You can't never watch a good Netflix show without it. They go, it's gonna be in there. We ain't never we ain't never watch no show, a Netflix show with a strong black man, a strong black woman, a, and, and kids. He protecting his family. The woman always protecting him. Just like the movie, um, uh, Us. I think, I think it's called Us. Or them. What is it? Us with Jordan Peele, with the, with the, with the clones. It's called Us, right? The man, the so-called black man with them. He was, he was soft, right? But they all, they always do that, um, to make us look bad. We don't never, we don't have no movies 
that we look, we got, we got moving like men into society. We killing each other. We got moving like boys in the hood. We killing each other. We got moving like uh, New Jack City. We uh, we selling dope to our, uh, selling crack to our people. We got this is stuff that we got. Movies that we got to watch uh, within our community. We got uh, 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 straight out of Compton. It ain't talking about nothing but them folly and madness. These are the things. These are the movies, the shows that we have in our community. But they don't have that in the white community. They don't have shows. Like that we got in our in our community, man, that our people look up to. Even going to the music, hey man, they don't hey so called white people, they so called white people, they don't have shows, I mean they don't have music talking about killing John or killing uh 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 Tanner, right? They don't have shows like that, right? But when you watch um hey, let me talk, I'll talk who you is according to the Bible. Who who you is according to the Bible? What, what I said when I talked to y'all, talked to you last time. Talked about the Israelite. Israelite, right? Okay, okay. You listen, you listen. And these things that he was called. Which one? Fringes. Fringes. Okay, okay. And what else? Right, right, right. Right. I talked. I talked to your dad too. Yo, I talked to him for a minute when he came up. I was talking to him for a minute. Oh, okay. Andrew. Are y'all putting up for the word? Okay, okay, okay. Hey, let me stop playing. Right, right, right. You don't rock the crew with you. I got to put him on game. Hold up, hold up. I'm going to get this verse real quick. Uh, uh. Uh, let me talk to y'all real quick. Hold up. Uh, let me get uh, something real quick. quick. So, so, check this out. So, I'm basically out here letting our people know who he is according to the Bible, but people don't know. Right? So, if I ask y'all your nationality, what would y'all tell me? You already said who we were. How you gonna say we black? We brown. But we ain't black, though. Right? Because one, two, are y'all three shirts black? No, we we ain't this color. We ain't this color. Why they say we black? Because of but we ain't black though, right? And then they say we African American. How can we be Africans and American? Those two continents, that, and that term just came out in like 1988. So how can we be African and American? So it's something that they don't want y'all to know. Y'all heard about the, uh, the Kyrie Irving situation? How y'all feel about that? What that is? He basically um. He what he said an anti-Semitic hate thing. That's what they say. Toward the Jewish people. Yeah. And they trying to take away our history. Make him apologize for this episode. Yeah, they're trying to make him apologize for saying we're the real Jews, basically. Which we is, but they basically don't want him to say that. Because they don't want the truth to come out. So they're gonna Kanye too. Kanye too. They trying to they trying they took Adidas from him. He just um, said his mama was a sex price. Yeah, yeah, you see that? Who said that? You said that? I just watched that video. He said his mom was a sacrifice. Michael Jordan sacrificed his daddy. Uh he said somebody else sacrificed their um oh Dr. Dre sacrificed his son. Cause that's what they do in Hollywood though. We thinking we thinking that Hollywood is just you know, you get rich, you go there, now you got the fame and fortune. But you gotta do stuff for the fame and fortune. They not just gonna give you no money. Like you gotta do like some crazy stuff. Like we see like all right, we just say we see we see little baby on the TV, right? We see Cardi B on TV. They got money. But you don't know what they done did to get that money. Like it's a lot of sacrificing, a lot of a lot of stuff going on within the industry. And that's why they push that on our community. You notice that we the only people that they push uh stealing a nigga girl, killing a nigga, robbing. Think about it, that's only in our community though. That's, that's twerking. You know, you go to the white people music, you don't hear about I'm finna go kill John. I'm finna go run down on Tanner with my uh lawnmower. You don't hear that though. But you hear about I'm gonna run on Jamal. You hear about I'm gonna go steal a nigga girl in our community. And, that, and, and, and music is very powerful though. And they know that though. And the Jewish man, he runs the music industry. So he gonna, in order to make it as a rapper, you gotta rap about what he wants you to rap about. And he want, he want these rappers to rap about killing, stealing, robbing, uh, popping pills, smoking weed. So our people can hear that and be like, oh, I wanna do that because he doing it. Even though he not even really doing it. So that's why they always talk about that. And our people want to be like these rappers. And we end up, they end up doing 15, 20 years. And the rapper in the studio just rapping about it. He ain't even talking about it. 
right? So it's, it's all it's all the plot to destroy the Israelites. And I'm gonna show y'all that we are those people, we are the Israelites. And we, we a lot of people waking up in these last days, like we, we, we really in the last days, like we gonna see some stuff like we ain't never seen before. So in order to be saved from the times to come, first, I'm gonna show y'all that we gotta, we gotta know who he is. We can't be out here calling ourselves black, African-American, niggas, hoes. We can't be doing that. You know what I'm saying? We regret it in that. So if I had any questions real quick before I really like get into it real quick. Get into it. All right, let me get into it. I'm, I want to prove. I want to prove to y'all, right, that we uh that we are the Israelites. And that's the spirit. And that's good that y'all can't hear the word. Though. I was really just just getting into it through the spirit. So y'all pull it up. All right, let me change the topic real quick and get into it. You don't want to be no preacher, huh? And te I'm technically, I'm technically in. I just don't be in the, I don't be in the church though. I be out here because the scripture said like go to the highways and hedges and compel my people to come in. So I live like I be traveling like I be going different places, but we be outside though. We don't be in like no church. Go be trying to reach as much people as we can. I know I heard you out here talking to the air. Yeah, hey, hey, the Lord, hey, the Lord say prophesy to the wind. Hey, prophesy to somebody come up. Hey, if anybody that come up, I'm still gonna be doing what I'm doing. Because the Lord said at the end of the day, like the angels record everything that we do at the end of the day. So check this out real quick. Let me show y'all something. Matter of fact, I'm going to get this real quick. What that is, the Holy Bible. The Holy Bible. The one that probably, hey, that be in Grandma House. <laughs> it's the same Bible that be in Grandma House. Huh? I did. I got, I got some more. I got more Bibles too. But they be, I got one from, uh, from Food Line. They had some at Food Line too. You got a Bible from, wait, what they got at Food Line? Bible? Oh. Yeah, I ain't get this one from there. Wait, I did get this one. I got this from Food Line, but it's I got one on YouTube. Huh? Yeah. Oh. I bet she mark us out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got one from Food Line. Yeah. 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 This dude Romans 7 and 6. He said, For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the Lord basically he chose us to be a special people above all people. Uh, think about it. What race of people can do what we do? Like, what race of people can dance like us, cook like us, dress like us? Nobody. He sweat. Nobody. Nobody can do it like us. Right, <laughs> cause we, cause we are the chosen people. God said we are His chosen people, and we thought we taught here that everybody equal. We know we know everybody is not equal, but they're not gonna tell you that that you guys chosen people because they don't want you to know. They want you to think that you niggas. That's one reason why they they bashing Kyrie Irving right now because they mad at him for saying the truth because they thinking like, damn, if these 